<clears throat> All right, guys, so Rancher 420. This is a 2013, it's an October of 12 build. TRX 420 FE is the exact model. I can only imagine that you're watching this because you've got one that's not shifting correctly and you want it to shift correctly. Well, the usual culprits are two things. Your shift motor, which is located right in here, or your angle sensor, which is located underneath the foiler back here. Okay, so let's do that. If you're looking for the location of a shift sensor or an angle sensor, take off your skid plate. It's like 12, 10 mil bolts. And then look right here. All right. That is your angle sensor on a 2013 TRX 420 FE. It's got two four mil socket head bolts. There it is. Okay, and then you got to remove the, the connector right there. Um, this bolt, there's your your brush guard, not your brush guard, but your, uh, oh, I can't even think of the word. What's the word of the pan? Brush guard, dust pan. It's definitely not a dust pan. I'm doing this live, folks. And there's another one over here. Um, What's it called? Skid plate. Sheesh. Mercy. Okay, so your skid plate, I'm not even going to edit that out. Your skid plate mounts here and here. This one over here, you need a 10 mil open end wrench or a ratchety because you can't get a socket in there. Other than that, socket, 10 mil, they all come out. Okay, so that's where they're located. Your, your shift motor, that's it right there. This plate just pops out. This uh, panel, not plate, but. So don't leave yet though, okay? So I know you found the location, but don't run away. Don't click off the video yet. If you're having shift issues, okay, and you, you know, it'll kind of shift maybe sometimes, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is this. Plug that joker into a charger, okay? So I've been running this thing for a long time, and it hadn't been on a charger because it hasn't needed it. And I think, I read somewhere on the internet that some people say, yeah, sometimes a little battery will keep it from shifting. And <clears throat> I think that's what my problem was. So I took my shift sensor off. I took my motor off. If you want to leave now and you want to go check all those things, I've got a video on how to test a shift sensor. Maybe I'll put, however, if I can figure out how to do it up there. If you want to take the motor off, what I would suggest first is take the motor just pull the motor off, put it on a nine, a, a, a nine volt, 12 volt power supply, whatever you've got, that'll make it spin. Check and make sure that it spins. That's what I did. Hooked it up to a power supply, bench supply, ran 12 volts through it this way, ran 12 volts through it that way, and it worked. I took my shift sensor out, or my angle sensor, sorry, the angle sensor, hooked it up to the multimeter, check the ohms, you can plug it up. Um, I'll put a video, like I said, up here somewhere. I did that, the ohms checked out. They were a little bit different than what the book said they should have been, but they weren't different enough that I panicked. So I also bought a new motor and I bought a new angle sensor. Um, but I came out here the other day and I noticed that the key was on and the lights were not home. So I killed my battery. So what I did, I turned it off and I hooked it up to the charger and it's actually still charging but I decided you know what let's just plug everything back the stuff that was on here not the new stuff let's put it all back on here and see what happens so I might have gotten extremely lucky okay I could have gotten extremely lucky or it could have just been a low battery I'm not 100% sure. I'll know soon because I'm gonna take this off the charger and I'm gonna let it let the kids ride it and we'll see what happens. But if you're a YouTube guy looking for reasons as to why this won't shift and you wanna start with something simple, my recommendation after chasing this thing for a month, plug that up, charge that bad boy and go from there and then start pulling stuff off of it, all right? All right.